Uh, Don Flaviano, how I'm long are you looking to remain a trainer? I, that's funny because do this for fucking 30 more years, man. Huh? I'm 30, 38. Right? How old is Nacho? I want to see. Uh, 77, 80 maybe? Either, maybe? either 80 or 60. Put it up, put it up. Some people had a rough life and they just... So 80 or 60, that's a fucking 20 year difference, dude. There's nothing. Nah, I think he's 70-something. I think he's 70. He's in his 70s. Right? He's a cool dude, though. He has a good oh, sense of humor. Yeah, he's fucking bad, dude. Oh, Nacho. He's 80-something. 80-something? He's 87. How long are you looking at him? He said 30 years. I don't know. 68. I, I, I said I could do it. I could do it 30 more years. I could do it five more. I don't know. I know. Uh, Salvador, Mr. Boxing Guru. Uh, he said thank you for the birthday wishes. Hey fucker, he was supposed to go to the fights and fucking drink a beer with me. But he went to the uh, he went to the Mares, but of course I know that. I don't blame him, but uh, but yeah, he was supposed to go have some beer with me. You probably thought you were going to the Mares fight. That's no, I told him to the top ranked show. How, how was the show, by the way? It was a good show, man. Uh, all everybody won. Good turnout. It was a good show. Good turnout. We we had uh, what's his name? Uh, Andy won. Oh, this is good. Finally, he's then fighting. Uh, then Eric lost, which eh, it was a little Wait, close. close. It was a very close. I thought I thought if they would have given a draw, it would have been good. But I, I still thought Eric maybe pulled it off. But they gave the other kids the decision. So ah, fuck it. Nothing we could do. And then Oscar, Oscar was actually getting down. He was good, doing good the first two rounds, and then. He was, he was doing good, counter-punching, and then the third round he gets caught with a punch, gets dropped, and, and fucking Everybody out. That? That's hey, that's awesome. boxing. But it's boxing. If, you know doing, what? He was doing good. But he was doing good. He was doing right? real good. <laughs> fucking uh, Oscar. guy who was fighting was like 6-0 and oh or whatever, really? and Oscar was getting done. He was big, yeah. He looked Oscar, like, looked like, uh, Oscar was like, basically yeah. beating him up, you know, yeah. putting a beating yeah. on him. Not, not really a beating on him, but winning, oh, convincingly. Winning the, easy. winning the round's pretty easy. That guy just caught him with a fucking yeah, a little, right hook. A little Hugo Santeno. Drop, yeah. Drop him. He looked just like Hugo Santeno, man. Maybe where's he go? Oh, okay. Uh, where was he from? Mexico? He trains right there with Yuka. With the, with the Yuka. Oh, okay, Yuka okay, okay. It wasn't the guy they called the shark. No, they got... They, Not so this, was, this guy was Bayo. Bayo, okay. Luis Bayo. El Zurdo de Oro. Yeah. Um, Ricky Richards. Uh, Fury versus Hay, who who do you think wins? Who? Tyson Fury? Yeah, I don't know who the fuck those fools are, man. I, I heard okay. their names, but I don't know. i never seen them fight. I'll tell you who's who. Hay got dropped by a cruiserweight in the second round. He fought Steve Cunningham. Uh, sorry, no. That was a Fury. Hay is the one that had the toe that hurt him against Klitschko. I, I have no idea who they are. I've never seen them, so I can't comment on those fuckers. Sadie, uh, who would win? Victor versus Khan? Who? Victor Ortiz is a mere I don't give a fuck about him. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> your thoughts on <laughs> that fucker even fighting that anymore? Easy. That was easy. For reals. Yeah. Is he still fighting? Now, 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 that's Hollywood right there. That's Hollywood shit. Does he even still fight? He's doing movies now. I don't think he's ever gonna fight again. Uh, if he does, they're gonna force him. He don't wanna fight. <laughs> Jake Wallwork, your thoughts on Kovalev's performance against Nathan, against Nathan Cleverly? Who's that? Kovalev, Kovalev the, the Russian, the Afghani's friend. Oh, yeah, fuck, guys in the fight. He fucking mother, he's a motherfucker. He's a beast, man. Strong motherfucker. There's a real champion right there. The Josh, Josh H. Is Mikey's next fight going to be in San Antonio? Uh, they say either San Antonio or Dallas. We don't know yet. We don't know right now. Training uh, Victor Pasillas. No, I, I'm not training him. He actually got down. That fucker Did he win? Good. Fuck yeah. He He's a bad little dude, man. He's always been very talented. You know, he's just that, that little dude that likes to fucking do it on his own and do his own shit and party and have a beer and all that shit. But that fucker look good. He's a bad motherfucker. He's a bad little dude. R N I C. Oh, that's right, Lil Snoop. Uh, what do you think about... Uh, do you think Mikey could do what Gonzalez did to Abner? Mikey could do two Abner? Yeah, knock him out like that. You know, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't even want to say anything because that's a fight that we might never even see. If, if Abner's still with Golden Boy, maybe we'll never see that fight. But if Abner would, you know, I don't know. What can I say? Just wait and see if it ever happens. What about Mikey against Yanni Gonzalez? That, that's awesome, man. That'd be a good fight right there. Good, good fucking fight. Are you going to train Chavez Jr.? No, I don't think so. His dad's training him. Yeah. Bladis, his dad. Uh, the same guy, RNIC. When is Brandon starting sparring and who is he going to be smart? Well, we, we're not starting yet, but uh, we're going to have to get some sparring partners in. We don't have anybody yet. 
And what do you think of Matisse sparring Timothy Bradley? It's going to be interesting for sparring. I don't know. It's going to be good. Why would they even spar each other? Because Marcus is not nothing compared to Matisse. Right? You right? I don't know. Maybe just to get a good sparring in there. Fucking two big names. Uh, Kieran Cooper, uh, Kel Brook versus Brian Rios. How would that fight go? Kel Brook, I don't know. He's from England, like yeah. 29 and 0, 21 knockouts. I have no idea who that is, so what can I say? Never seen him fight. They call him Super K. Never seen Cheryl him Cheryl Ricks. Uh, do you think Maidana will beat Broner and when is Mikey fighting next? They're both fighting November 9th. It looks like uh, not, not, neither fights are officially signed, but it looks like they're both fighting November 9th. Same night? Different, yeah, locations, different locations, different cities? Yeah, but, uh, but I think Maidana, Maidana should, is going to be here uh, this week, next week, start training already. Two and a half months, train, their, train our ass off. Because we're gonna fucking, we're gonna surprise, the, we're gonna sur not, not only Bronner, but we're gonna surprise Schaefer and Golden Boy. Because I know that's their boy. Uh, what's the, stra what's the strategy, strategy, strategy to defeat Mayweather in a shoulder roll? <laughs> From Ramon Boca. I am fighting Mayweather, so I don't, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, right? I'm not training my fighters to beat Mayweather. They're not fighting him. And that's it. Right? So there you have it right here at the Robert Garcia Boxing Academy. And I'll start. Stay tuned for YesNewsReporting.com. I'm Ellie Sick back reporting.